with cars out on track and the 20 minutes already starting to count down, it's time for you and us to try and get used to the new liveries, the new driver lineups, because there are a lot of both to deal with. These teams are taking this very seriously. We've got that $250,000 prize pool coming into the series, which you know we didn't have that at the 24-hour race last year. We've thrown, they've been throwing a lot of money at this this year. So this is serious, and it's no surprise to see that one team has really, really gone out their way to go for the title uh, and particularly get off to a good start. You know, Juven as well was amongst those who won last year. Uh, so yeah, Juven's going to be one of one of the ones to watch, definitely. But look at some of the margins, 1,600s first to second. Now, that is one of the bigger <laughs> margins. It was 43,000s before, 89,000s down to second, 43,000s to third. You know, if okay, between sixth and seventh, 8,000s of a second. And somebody just staying out of the way there has completed their lap. They're on a slow lap. But let's see if Josh Rogers can make this work. Second sector was not as good. How close was it? He was only a tenth away from the best and... Well, yeah, okay. When your tires have maybe had enough and you just give it everything into the parabolica, that can be the end result. Let's see who else has got a, uh, a decent lap going. Uh, not too much going to happen, Kevin I don't think. Is that, oh, is that Kevin, Kevin Singh? Singh? He's jumped did he up, just he? jump up to the top of the pile? Yes, he he did on his last lap. BMW team red line by 21 thousands of a second not just last gasp but by the slenderest of margins as well what's that crossing the line at 250 kilometers an hour it's probably mm, the distance between the bumper and the back of the front wheel something like that and the gr wolves racing number 87 car unfortunately not getting out and setting a time at all so gr wolves with lots of work to do they will start 14th and 17th in the LMGTE class. LMP2 qualifying is underway and the cars just heading out of the pits for their first run and probably the second lap on the tyres is going to be just as quick as the first, maybe even a third, but there is time to do a two lap run or a three lap run, come back into the pits, make a setup change if you feel it's needed, although by this stage, any sim racer, racer worth his salt should have spent an awful lot of hours getting the setup right. It's not quite the same as in the real world where we'd have spent three or four hours doing free practice and then dial in uh, or attach the qualifying setup. Again, as, in, as we saw in the LMGTE field, it will be the sim racers who are doing the qualifying because they are the guys, as in the real world, the, the real pro drivers would be doing the outright, you know, death or glory qualifying lap. So, and at the moment, it is the Floyd Bicollis burst car that is fastest of all. 1700s ahead of number two, uh, GPX Williams and Roman Grosjean's team, their second car, Number 18, the RAG eSports car, that is Jot van Eutert, Thibaut Cazembon and uh, Thomas Petitjean. Um, that car is currently third fastest van Eutert, of course. A real-world LMP2 ace, raced in the European Le Mans series in the last couple of seasons and at Le Mans. 1700 separating first to second, 1800s back to third. Uh, some fairly sizable margins here, certainly compared to the GTE qualifying. Yellows out. So who has had an issue here? And is this, Oh, that's there out of Lesmo too. Now that's a full on code brown moment there <laughs> in the real world, isn't it? <laughs> this is our first onboard lap around Monza in an LMP2. We get to see a little bit what it's like. Very, very quick, yeah. basically. Super fast, isn't it? Yeah. Currently third quickest, down into the Roggia, hop the chicanes both sides. So those are the gaps back yeah. to the leader. So first to second, one thousandth between uh, those two cars, between the uh, number four by Collis Burst car and the triple four by Collis Burst car. So Mitchie Hoyer, one thousandth of pole position. Quick replay. We're going to see coming through the second Lesmo. Yeah. Whoa, and that was the by Collis car, wasn't it, as well? So which uh, one that is that? Round. Four that or triple four? That was the one leading the way. So That's number four. Um, okay. Ooh, okay, interesting. Now, was that another quick lap or was that an in-lap? Well, it wasn't, it wasn't a lap in the end, was no. it? No. <laughs> R8G eSports car has gone to the top of the, of the pile. Ehanja Jovski has gone quicker than Yeni Simoncic by 11 hundredths of a second. So those two by Collis cars, car number four and car number triple four, 
will need to find a little bit more if they want to lock out the front row of the grid. That was a quick... Uh, oh, quick here we go. Michi out. Hoyer. He was stung by being a thousandth off pole originally. He's gone green in the first sector. He is purple in sector two right behind him. Cincic has gone green in sector two and three, but has not moved up a position. There is a green second sector for Simoncic, who's in second place. So who's going to win the battle of the Baikolas cars at the moment, unless he blows it in the final element, Michi Hoyer could be going to the top of the pile. Yeah, this is the triple four up to the line and goes to second, so oh, six thousand. six thousandths away. Yeah. So what has Michi Hoyer got in the final sector of the lap? Will he go to the top of the pile? He does not. He goes second now. No, he doesn't. Hang on a minute. Oh, that's all just He's changed. He's gone to the top, yeah. He has gone straight to the top, 132.742. Wow. So, wow, 25 thousandths between the top three with a minute and a half remaining. So coming up to last laps, really, they may squeeze one more in. But uh, this is wow. really going to be their last, last crack at it. This is what the oh, yellow oh, 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 <laughs> Come back, baby. <laughs> At the moment, number four by Coles car from the number eight R8G and then the triple four by Coles. What's left inside the final minute? 40 seconds on the clock. <laughs> and oh, well, there we again, go. there'll be yeah. yellows out. In terms of anyone that can steal pole, it's GPX, Williams or R8G because they're still out there somewhere as yeah. well. But uh, this is going to be the one we're going to follow. They've got just over two and a half tenths to find to pole. So Jajowski in car number eight was eight thousands uh, 19 thousands off rather but in 22 Chinchich Marshall Chinchich is a quarter of a second away is he going to find that what about the Panis car can they find some of that four tenths that the number 65 car is behind and move themselves up into the top two rows well who's got quicker laps going uh in number 70, the real team hydrogen red line care car, Jeffrey Rietveld has got a quicker lap going. It's going to be RHG, isn't it? That uh, go and take pole position, the wow. first pole position of the year. That's the car we are looking at now. And that's a big, big result for, uh, for RHG. But at the same time, not a huge surprise to see them where they are with Erhan Jajowski in the car. And right at the death as well as the chequered flag came out. So Erhan Jajowski taking it. 